Thanks. A deputy in Canadian County resigns and is arrested. An inmate accuses him of sexually assaulting her multiple times. Records show that now former deputy told her not to say anything about the assaults. News 9's Sylvia Corkill is live at the OSBI with this one. Sylvia. Carl, while investigators say that inmate was told not to say what happened to her, they say thankfully she had the courage to come forward. She's incredibly brave um, to do what she did. Um, it, she might not have been believed. On April 7th, court documents show former Canadian County Deputy David Lohman was transporting a female inmate across three counties. During the course of the transport, the inmate alleges Lohman sexually battered and sodomized her. In any profession, there are those that will try to get away with things. According to the victim, Lohman pulled into a Medill car wash where he ordered her to remove her bra. Later, along the side of an isolated road, the woman tells investigators Lohman exited his sheriff's vehicle and forced her to perform oral sex. A court filing shows the victim says while driving, Lohman told her he requested the transport because he knew a female needed to be picked up and then shared his sexual fantasies with her, showing her pictures on his phone. When confronted with the allegations backed by corresponding GPS locations of their stops, Lohman told investigators he had gotten lost and then later parked and got out of his vehicle to release flatulence. Following his interview, Lohman stated he was going to jail, he needed an attorney, and that he was in a bad, bad, bad spot. It doesn't matter who you are, if you break the law, uh, and you know there's sufficient evidence that charges should be filed against you, then absolutely you should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Now, in a statement, Canadian County Sheriff Chris West did echo that sentiment, saying, while he had hoped this wasn't true, if it is, Lowman needed to be held accountable and put away. Live from OSBI headquarters, Sylvia Corkell, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. Okay, Sylvia.